doing is I took the plaster and I've made it just a little, the ratio, just a little bit more plaster, maybe two scoops of plaster to one scoop of perlite. So I'm taking it and putting it in all the areas that look like it might be just a little rough. I'm using perlite this time, so usually the last step you use a silica sand with a mixture of the plaster, but I don't have any silica sand, so we're just going to go with the perlite. And then we're going to get the air system set up and try to fire it up and cure all this perlite, get it. And I think we're probably going to have to drill some bigger holes on top of this. I don't know if those holes in this burner tube are going to be big enough. sure you can get enough air and also I've got a dimmer switch we found a, a boat air blower that blows the fumes out of a boat we're going to use that for our air blower so it's 12 volts that's gonna that's gonna make it so we can do it off grid a little more efficiently and then we're gonna put that blower on it and I'm gonna use a dimmer switch for the switch on the blower so we can we can actually change the RPM of the fan with the dimmer switch so it doesn't if you blow too hard it's gonna burn up if you're using using wood it's gonna burn the wood up too fast so we don't want to you want time to work on it so we can set that RPM on the fan just where we want it so we don't go through our wood too fast just about got her done. Our um, plaster starting to set up on me. So try to get it smooth as I can. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, but the smoother it is, the less chance it's going to chip off. Okay, that looks like it's going to do it. Next step will come up in a minute. Okay, we're starting the fire. Get it going, see what will happen. See if we can get it up hot enough. We've got a little bit of kindling in here. See what happens if we turn it on now.
showing you how this good this works. This, so see, it's not it's not even hot on the outside. That's what the perlite does. It insulates it. And then here, where the air's blowing in, it's not hot either. So where the heat is is inside where the actual air is coming out, underneath the coals in there. So we'll see what happens here if we can get this heated up. Turn cherry red. seems to be working. I think our air holes need to be drilled just a little bit bigger. We're getting a little bit of air flow, but it's backwashing out this because we're going from such, we're going from a three inch opening down to a three quarter inch opening. So we're losing a lot of our air pressure. We want the air to come out inside here. Next, I'm going to put the um, dimmer switch on so I can turn the volume of air down. So I think if we turn the volume of air down, the speed of the fan, so it blows in there a little bit slower, it may work a little better. But it seems to be making some heat. That's what we want. As long as the heat's inside the cord and not outside the cord. Looks like it's working. We're getting some heat to the piece of metal but then you gotta remember this thing is square top and it's hollow on the inside so it's gonna let the air come out and it's gonna kind of cool it so it'll take a little bit to heat it up. But the forge is working it's a success so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lid cut the front half of that lid on Cut this front half off and put it back on. And then cut a hole in the front there, leave this bottom solid, and then we'll have a lid for it. And then put some hinges in the back so you can flip it up. And then that'll keep more heat inside the cord. So it's a learning process. But it seems to be working pretty darn good. Working pretty good. Turn that thing cherry red. And that's what we want. Well, keep working on it. I'll add another video later. Show you how it works. We gotta make us a table for it and finish the top of it. Okay, I notched the top a little bit so it'll fit on here. It's working out pretty good. You can see the air coming up through there. charcoal so we did we heated it up and you can see we, we hammered this out over here on a rock and it worked out pretty good so now all we gotta do is build something to put it on and we can start using it to do a little better job at hooking up the hoses we have ran a hose here we've got this Oh, and then we just hooked it 
into a battery. So it's working pretty good. And then it's a pretty nice little forge. I think I'm going to put hinges on the back so that you can lift the top open or else just leave it closed like that. Maybe I should have just cut the end open and made it like that. That looks pretty good. Seems to work pretty good. is making it hot. You see that? See, it is making it hot. All right. Comet Simply Gridless. Thanks for watching our project.